Hi and welcome students. Today's tutorial will cover Microsoft Access 2016 and how to create a form using the form wizard. Let's go ahead and get started. So you'll see that I have a Microsoft Access table called Donations open right now. And the fields are donation ID, student ID, club affiliation, last name, first name, donor phone, and donation amount. So on this video I'm going to show you how to create a form. Now a reason that you might want to do this is because a lot of people try to add in records on a table when really it might be easier to view it in a form. The problem with adding it on a table is that there's a lot of other data in your way and you may confuse some of what's going on above the row with the row that you're currently typing in. So instead we're going to create a form to basically fix that problem to where we can view one record at a time. And one of the best ways to do this if you're just starting out in Microsoft Access is by using the form wizard. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that you have to do is close any open objects. So I have this table open right now. I'm going to close it with this X right up here and I close out of that. And it's going to ask me if I want to save the design changes. If you made any, I'll say sure. And then here we go. I have a blank uh, desktop in front of me and now if I want to create a form I go to the create tab and you'll see right over here is the forms group and there's about six buttons in it if you're just starting out you may want to start out with the form wizard because it basically helps you create simple customizable forms so I'm gonna click right there and it's going to populate this and it will say which fields do you want on your form you could choose from more than one table or query alright so we're going to choose from the donations table because that's the only table on this access database but make sure that you choose the correct source in your database alright now we have four buttons here this button moves the fields from the left to the right so basically from the available fields over to the selected fields and that's the first button you'll see I clicked it there donation ID moved from the left to the right then you'll see this button right here. This basically moves all of the fields from the left side to the right. So if I click that, you'll see the rest of the fields moved over to the right. All right, so this, these two buttons at the bottom basically do the same thing, only they move them back, either one at a time or all at a time. For this demonstration, I'm gonna show you using all of the selected fields, because if I move all of them, I can basically edit all of the records or uh, add in new records or edit current records at uh, one record at a time. So I go ahead and I click next. All right, now I'm gonna stick with the Columnar layout. And basically these are preset layouts by Microsoft Access. You could look through on which one works better for you. And you can try out all four uh, as you create your forms to see which works best given your data. I'm gonna stick with Columnar on this one. And I click next. Here's where we name our form. Since I already have a table named donations, I wanna call this donations form. That way I could distinguish between the two. Now I click finish. And it's going to populate the form right here. And now I see that I am in what's called form view. The way I could tell that is in the home tab, the views group, I click the more button and it says form view right here. Form view is great because I could edit current records. For instance, if I wanted to change this donation ID to 100, I could do it just like that and press enter and it's going to update both on this form and the table. I could also edit any of the other fields that I have selected on the form. I could also use right down here, the status bar. I can use this to basically move through to specific records. I could do uh, first record, previous record, I could type in a record, so let's say I wanted to go to record 15, I'd type 15 and press enter, and it's gonna take me to record 15. And then I could also go to the next record, last record, and then finally create a new blank record. All right, so any, again, any edits that I make in here will be updated on the donations table as well. So that's really nice because I could edit one field at a time rather than looking at everything on a table where again, the text is much smaller. Now, let's go ahead and click this views button again. I could actually go into what's called layout view. All right, and if I go into the layout view, I could change things like the size or width of these columns here, or I can uh, actually go in and change the height or uh, the formatting and the paragraph settings by using the form layout tools tabs up here at the top. Lastly, I could go in here to the design view and let's say I wanted to print this out. I could add in a footer down here at the bottom or I can change the way that the details or form header is displayed. Again, all of this can be found in the form design tools uh, design tab 
in the views group and you can switch between these three views depending on what you need to do. So hopefully this has taught you a little bit more about forms and how to create a form using the form wizard. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you want to learn more about Microsoft Access, make sure you check out my Access 2016 playlist. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.